In the vast ocean, the thick layer of blubber, 40 centimeters deep, is the favorite feast of the great white shark. The high calorie fat of the Mo Xiangjing is an essential part of its diet. Just weeks ago, this colossal 30 ton creature met a tragic fate when it collided with a passing ship, resulting in its immediate death. The first to arrive on the scene was a great white shark, which devoured a hearty meal, ensuring it wouldn't need to eat again for the next two months. Following closely behind were the smaller Da Qing Sha, whose size is tens of times less than that of Da Bai Sha, as the fat from Mo Xiangjing's body spread through the water, an increasing number of Da Qing Sha were drawn to the site, greedily feasting on the rich blubber. Within just a few days, the massive Mo Xiangjing was stripped of its outer layer of fat. Without its nourishing blubber, the carcass began to sink slowly into the depths of the ocean. Its remains would soon attract a plethora of deep-sea creatures. The first to discover Mo Xiangjing's body was the Hui Liu Zia Aisha, a creature that hadn't eaten in a year and thrived on minimal energy. With a keen sense of smell and a body shape comparable to that of Da Bai Sha, it quickly identified this free feast. As it gorged itself on the remains, the blood flowed into the sea, enticing more Hui Liu Zia Aisha to join in the feeding frenzy. They pushed and jostled, each vying for a share of the remains. About a day later, a third of Mo Xiangjing's carcass had been consumed by this ravenous group, providing enough sustenance for them to last another year. Next came the cleaners of the ocean floor, spider crabs and yellow crabs. They detected the scent of the remains almost simultaneously with the Hua Liu Zai Sha, but lagged behind in speed. Over the next month, more than 30 species of scavenging marine animals gathered to consume the edible remnants, along with countless microorganisms. Their predators were also drawn to the area, moving vertically near the seafloor to prey on the microorganisms that flourished in the vicinity of Mo Xiangjing's remains. As time passed, the once mighty carcass had disintegrated, and for months later, only a pile of bones remained. Despite this, the bones continued to play a vital role in the ecosystem. Acid-secreting creatures injected their enzymes into the bones, burrowing into the holes created by DK to extract any residual fat left behind. This slow process could take decades, eventually transforming the skeleton into a powder, nourishing new life in the ocean. The story of Mo Xiangjing illustrates the cycle of life and death in the marine world, where even in demise, one creature becomes a source of sustenance for countless others. Welcome to this wondrous world, where we explore the unknown and celebrate the marvels of life. Thank you for your attention.